All right, everybody. I guess my head's in the picture. Don't know for sure. Wanted to uh, go over a few things I got this week. Some of it I got from Rob. Some of it I got from you know other brothers out here. Um, Cole Rogers, I believe his name is Cole Re Cole Reviews on YouTube. Um, wasn't no trade or nothing. He just emailed me and told me he wanted my address and my wrist size. He sent me a uh, paracord bracelet. Well, not paracord. Let me take that back. It's actually made out of tether cord. Um, I think three thirty seconds of an inch thick tether cord. And uh, I mean, it looks like your standard paracord braid. Got the little knot. Got the loop. I am gonna have to open it up just a little bit. The uh, the knot in. He left me enough here so I can move that knot down, make it a little bit bigger. Main reason being in the summertime, I drink so much fluids for uh, working out in the heat and all that I swell up a little bit so my wrists get a little bit bigger. This one that I made, I don't know, two years ago, it's uh, pretty snug. It's getting getting about to the point where I may have to go ahead and cut it off because this one you can't take off. It's made with the uh, loop pulling on itself so it won't come off. Um, I may actually have to take it off because I am swelling up a little bit from the heat. Or maybe I'm just getting fat, who knows, you know. But uh, the cool thing about this, and I know you can't see it from here, well, you might can see this part from here. This is flat, and it's not quite, you know, this is all bendy flexible kind of thing, you know, see that? This is it. Reason being, I'll come in close and show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out or not. There is a small mesh metal rod. I'd say that's an eighth inch mesh metal rod that he's braided inside the uh, paracord bracelet. Now I'm not gonna pull it out because if I do I'm afraid I won't be able to get it back in but push come to shove you've always got this little bracelet on. You've got a good bit of 332nd inch tether cord which is great for making your shelters, making snares and that kind of thing. Plus you've got a mesh metal rod in here that you can use to get your fire started. So I thought that was pretty cool. I said I am gonna have to it fits my wrist with the uh, the knot and everything that he's got in it now, but it's a little bit snug, so I am going to loosen that up just a little bit, maybe about half the distance from the knot to the end there, just so I can make it a little bit more free on my wrist. Um, Mr. Lane sent me also with the uh, another package that he sent me, sent me a nice paracord bracelet with the uh, you know the clip ends on it. And it's actually a bracelet braided over a bracelet, so there's a good bit of paracord in that as well. Um, I've got some stuff. I got another paracord bracelet. I cannot remember who had sent it to me. I want to say it was Mike Reed. Almost positive it was Mr. Reed that uh, he sent me. If I'm not, brothers, I'm sorry. I said my brain ain't what it used to be. But uh, Mr. Reed, part of the trade that we have worked out was he sent me the uh, whisker biscuit and everything. I've seen a lot of questions on Dave's page about, you know, they're having trouble with the whisker biscuit coming out. Some people say we'll glue it in and this, that, and the third. Um, the whisker biscuit, if you look at it, there's a, there's two sides to it. The uh, side that would be facing your prey, I guess you'd say, is the side that has the deepest pocket on it. The other side, the whisker biscuit is flush with it. That's the side that the whisker biscuit comes out on. So when you're putting this on your, your bow, on your uh, sling bow, your slingshot, you want the flush side facing you. That way, as your arrow goes through this, you don't have to worry about it popping out. If you put it on with the, the deep side facing you, then when the arrow goes through, you stand a chance of, I can't really hold it to show you what I'm trying to say here, but look, there you go. You stand a chance of it popping out as the arrow pushes through. Now you can glue it in place, but the easiest fix to that would be to just put it on, I'm not going to say the right way, because, I mean, if you glue it in place, either way is right, but put it on to where it's facing you, that way the arrow can't pop out, and you don't have to glue it in, which means when this does finally wear out, you can just buy the insert and pop another insert back in. Of course, i got a couple of pretty good-sized heavy-duty wire ties that will fit right through there. And uh, I've got a folding slingshot here. I know I'm going to catch some flack and I'm going to get some booze, but I didn't get this from Rob. Um, I picked it up while I was out shopping. 
I got it for five bucks at Walmart. It's the power line model. I don't know I don't know if it was marked wrong or if it was on sale or what, but I was back there looking at some things and they had one slingshot left. It looks like they're getting rid of their slingshots. Um it's got a little bit different color band on it than most of the slingshots usually have. But uh those are coming off right now. On video, YouTube, cable guy can keeping it real for you. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I ordered the bands from Rob. And of course, I'm going to save these, because even though they're a lighter duty band, they're still, I mean, they're brand new, so there's nothing wrong with them. And I can add these to my EDC kit. And if nothing else, I've always got a couple of pieces of tubing, or I've got a quick, easy slingshot that I can make just using a deer antler, a uh, good piece of um, gum tree, anything like that. But I ordered these from Rob. These are the high power bands, same ones that they use on the original sling blow that Dave made. Um, it comes with a protectant. It says aerospace, aerospace protectant, SPF 40 for your stuff. It's made for rubber, vinyl, fiberglass, tires, plastic, leather, to no covers. Um, I'm assuming it's like a little wipe or either a, a you know, some kind of a chemical. I haven't, haven't opened it up, obviously. Um, Let's carefully split this open. Get the bands out. I'm not going to open this. I may, uh, before I ever go to put this away, I may open it up and put some on the bands. But I'm not really all that worried about it right now. Now, you've seen in like Dave's video, and I'm sure a lot of y'all have done, you can wet the end of these posts and slide these bands right on. But for a more permanent structure, for something that you don't have to worry about coming off uh, and slipping and everything, old trick we used to use when I used uh, I used to ride motorcycles, hairspray, just regular aerosol hairspray. Um, now I know I'm gonna catch some flack for this too. I mean, y'all y'all got on me about sewing. You got on me about wearing the dress to church. Get on me about the hairspray. Don't matter, y'all. But uh, just give it. You know, coat each each little corner of it good, and what happens is the hairspray makes it slippery enough that your bands can go on. But at the same time, the hairspray will dry, and it dries fairly quick, so you need to work kind of quick. But the hairspray will dry and let these bands lock on pretty good. Now I'm going to put mine on about as even as I can. And we'll give that a few seconds to dry. What will happen is, uh, what we found with the motorcycle handles, the slip-on handles and all, wetting them, they'd slide on, but eventually they'd start, you know, pulling off. Well, the hairspray actually acts like a little glue. And as it dries, it actually glues these down to it. Um, I don't see any slippage. It looks to be pretty even there. Um, now that's not to say that you can't take these off later on if you want to. They'll still, if you unroll them, you know, roll them back off of it, they'll still come off. So we've got that on there. Then we need to get our whisker biscuit. And like I said, it fits. the mail lady blowing the horn because she don't like to walk y'all. It fits right here on the bottom. You can see it fits just about perfect, and this is the side you want facing away from you. So we're going to take our zip ties and just push them right on through here. And it's summertime in the south. I got all kind of bugs and creepy crawlies flying around me. 